hello friends today i will be creating a video for pick list how to create a pick list so what is a pick list first it is a drop down for a field here you can see country uh, this is a field state is a field and the drop down that is the pick list values are india and usa here it is maharashtra and texas so where we will be, we'll be seeing this fields we'll go in the login so this is the employee file so in this i'll be creating the pick list in job information portal so here you can see the job information it is under the experience tracker it is usually under employee details if somebody has moved it by mistake so under job information i go to job information history and then edit and the job information these are the fields already created some will be standard some will be custom field so the field which i have, I have created here country 1 is a custom field you can see the drop down list as india 1 and usa okay. so this is called pick list that is we create a field first and then we assign the pick list values to this field these are the pick list values so today i will be showing how to create this pick list for state okay so the first step here is manage business configuration under this we we'll go to the hrs element job info since we are creating this field in the job information we we'll are selecting job information and adding this custom field state 102 since this is a this is a custom field i'll be selecting custom string so i'll create a duplicate page of this now we'll go to manage business configuration select as you can see these are the hrs elements i will be selecting job info so since i am creating the state 102 is a custom field select make correct make correction so under the hrs elements as we go down at the last before the trigger rules you can see the field which i have created country 1 here country 1 so this the custom string used was 4 custom string 4 similarly i will select custom string 5 it is not used by anyone here so i am selecting custom string 5 i will give the name state 102 creating in within job information portal so i'm selecting job information here i'm selecting yes because i want this field to be seen in the front end so i'm selecting it as yes and then we need to okay, save this so i created the field state 101 102 sorry the next step here is pick list center in pick list center will assign the pick list values that is the drop down values to this field so duplicate this page 
इतने सेल तक पिकलिस्ट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन क्रिएटेड हिस्सा क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू पिकलिस्ट सो क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट अ पिकलिस्ट The new pick list name is state one zero two. Name is the same as the code name. Now the status is active. Date I am selecting is January first. Display order alphabetical, numeric, or custom. I am selecting alphabetical. So it will be displayed as alphabetical in the front end. I'm saving this. I'm not selecting the parent pick list, but then you can see pick list here. So I'm saving it. So you can see the pick list has been created. State one zero two. So under the this under this, I will be creating pick list values. Now, what are the pick list values? These are the drop down values. State the name of the states: Maharashtra and Texas. So again, the pick list values. I am selecting this. Create or add new value. <coughs> the external code is Maharashtra one zero two. The label name is also the same. Status is active. Don't have to enter anything here. It will get reflected after I click on create. As you can see, under state one zero two, pick list value has been added. Maharashtra. I have to create one more pick list value, Texas, which corresponds to country USA. Texas one zero two. Label name is the same. I will mean, select here active. This will be blank and create. So we have created the pick list values and the pick list as well. I'm refreshing this page. Now, next step is. Manage permission roles and user role search. So I'm duplicating the page here now. Duplicate. Go to manage permission roles. Now <coughs> what I'm going to this step is the field which I have created will not be reflected here unless. Unless I give the permission to be visible, so I have to go to permission role. Now I don't, we don't know which. Uh, for for testing purpose, I'm considering this employee Ryan Harris. We don't know which role has been has been assigned or the role which has been assigned to this employee. So for this, I'll be checking his role. We go to. User role search. I am duplicating a new page. User role search. So here we will find the role of this employee. That is the role which he has been assigned. First name is Ryan. You can also select as per division. Or groups, job code, department, or the username, or the location. So if you select as per location, there will be many employees. The users will be many here. So since for testing purpose, I'm selecting only one person. I'm putting his first name here and click on search. To, to find this role. I will select this person. Oops. 
this will remain the same as it is on time accounts and click on search here you can see there are two roles this employee is two roles so what i will do is go in manage permission roles so this is the manage permission roles page now i want to find the role of this person you can see time off and week power up which are the roles seen here in the user role search so i'll click on one of these time off we have created the field state 102 so we are giving the giving access to be to make it visible to edit so if we can permission since it is a effective dated entity we go in effective dated entity where we will see all the hris elements so we have created the field state 102 in job information we we'll find the job information so under this job information these are the hris elements which we saw in manage business configuration here these are the standard and the that is with custom string other custom fields <coughs> so in the effective date entities we we'll find state 102 because we have to give it a give it permission to make it visible view current view history so that we can view the history of that field as well edit correct there is delete that is if we select this delete option delete anybody can delete that field and go to state 102 selecting this clicking on this and done So we have done this for the role time of. So this employee is in the role time of. Save it. Also, we'll go to V point role. This employee comes. Employee comes under this role as well. So. And go for this role as well. Active job information. You find job information here. For the job information, you find the state one zero two. This is the only thing is the same. The list will save it. Refresh this page again. Now we go to this employee to check whether the field is reflecting job information. First, we have to refresh this page because we have made many changes. the experience tracker job information job information history edit we will find the go to job information first and then under this there are more fields click on this in here you can see the field country which i have already created with a drop down and here the field is state 102 But it is there is no drop down here. You can enter anything in this field. So I want to make it as a pick list. Okay. So for this, the last step will be manage business configuration. That is the first step where we created the field. 
state 102 so I'm duplicating this page go to manage business configuration NBC we created the field under job info and take action make correction in order to get this field in the front the drop downs in the front end for the custom field one zero state one zero two will go in details in this details you can see the identifier is custom string by label one zero two section that is the portal the job information enabled yes if you select it no the field will the field will not be seen in the front end here the data type is string the type of reference object we have to select data as pick list we created the pick list in the pick list center but we didn't assign the pick list to this field so we will select the type of reference object in the pick list in the pick list center we created state 102 with the pick list values Maharashtra and Texas so what I will do is I will select state 102 state 102 contains the drop down values of the states and this is the type of reference object pick list so it will be shown as drop down in the front end so I am selecting it done and save confirm after saving this I will again refresh this page then for testing we will go to the employee file Will say cancel. I will refresh this page because we have made so many changes until now. Go to experience tracker, job information, job information history, edit. Now I'm looking for my field in the job information field is state 101 with the pick list and the pick list values so here you can see state 102 and there is a drop down here Maharashtra and Texas 102 so this is called the pick list pick list with the pick list values so this is the method for creating the pick list now here you can see by default Texas has been selected for India so if we want that the drop down state Maharashtra should be selected for India this is called cascading pick list for this I will be making another video hope you have understood how to create a pick list thank you very much